This video explores a lesser known side of the lives of some historical figures, focusing on their sexual perversions. We see how these behaviors deviate, who played a crucial role in society and in transforming historical events. Throughout the 20th century, world history saw the emergence of authoritarian leaders, with complex personal lives sometimes dark and often hidden behind the veil of political power. One such figure was Adolf Hitler, the well-known German leader whose authoritarian government left a painful scar about world history. Gib du jetzt deine Stimme ab! Wenn ja, dann tritt für mich ein, so wie ich für dich eingetreten bin! Hitler's personality is revealed in intimate and peculiar details, including his penchant for personal humiliation. Indeed, an actress of the time revealed that the Führer often called actresses to his lodgings for private performances, during which he would kneel down to be then slapped and kicked in the butt. Historians have revealed that Adolf Hitler suffered from an embarrassing intimate condition. Medical reports talk about cryptoarchidism and hypospadias, a congenital deformity that may correspond to a micropenis. Was it perhaps Hitler's sexual frustration, having contributed to his transformation into a genocidal maniac? Staying in Hitler's orbit, we can't help but talk about the Duce. In fact, the ally Benito Mussolini, known for his controversial love life, was initially a supporter of free love. He's opposed to marriage and children. Before becoming the Duce, he frequented brothels and maintained multiple relationships at the same time, especially with Romagna female peasants. Although he had several children from these multiple encounters, he was not a committed parent to his children, once in power. He claimed to have four sexual encounters a day with different women selected by the housekeeper, nicknamed the Queen Bee. His victims were chosen from married women and those of low social status. Historical lover Claretta did not disdain such behaviors as evidenced by some of her writings. Moving east to the cold communist Russia, Joseph Stalin emerges as a controversial figure it was indeed his habit to have questionable intimate encounters with attractive and shapely minors and a strong lack of interest in having many legitimate offspring, legitimate or not. In the environment of the highest ranks of the Russian apparatus, where orgies and parties with prostitutes were not lacking, a figure stood out above all, Lavrenti Beria, Head of the secret police, indeed, his brutality during interrogations was notorious, especially with young women which bordered on violence and torture. Moving beyond the Mediterranean Sea, we meet another figure well known for having a unique body composed only of women, are known as the Amazons, of which Colonel Gaddafi often sexually abused. Muammar Gaddafi. He exercised his power oppressively through sexual abuse, involving individuals from various social strata. The use of rape was seen as a means of control, involving both young sex slaves and the wives of his most trusted ministers. Moving away from Libyan territories and heading into Asia, we encounter Saddam Hussein, the Iraqi dictator. Known for his complex love life, he had three wives, five lovers, 
and psychotic children. One anecdote in particular about his weakness for the fair sex is closely tied to his favorite mistress, which seems to have cost him his life. History tells us that Samira, the woman's name, was already married, which wasn't an insurmountable problem for Saddam. In fact, he ordered the kidnapping of the husband and forced a divorce to have the woman in his harem. Misfortune. It seems that the Americans discovered where the dictator was hiding because of the weakness the leader had for that woman. In the Far East, Mao Zedong emerges as a figure with specific perversions. Among these, his categorical refusal of personal hygiene. This choice impacted his health. This led to him getting lice and sexually transmitted diseases. Neglecting personal hygiene contributed to the deterioration of his overall physical condition. In fact, it is speculated that he died of syphilis. Um. From the other side of the world, in the middle of the two Americas, we meet the supreme leader, Fidel Castro. The Cuban revolutionary of the 20th century who dedicated a significant part of his life to sex as well as power and revolution. It said that he had sexual relations with at least two women a day for breakfast and dinner for 40 years, reaching the deplorable number of 35,000 women. In the whirlwind of time, intriguing tales also emerge about older historical figures like Napoleon Bonaparte. During his initial encounters with Eros, it is said that he had his first relationship with a prostitute after four unsuccessful attempts. The strangest legend about Napoleon concerns his penis cut during the autopsy in 1821 and passed from hand to hand, pardon the pun, until 1977, when he was purchased at an auction by the American urologist John Latimer, which certified it to be well below average. Even further back in time is the tale of the love life of Nero, emperor of ancient Rome. He stood out for his numerous marital unions and the incestuous relationship with his mother. But mother, who was then murdered due to a dispute over his many lovers. Nero is also remembered for having married a young man whom he ordered to be castrated before the wedding. A bold act of love desired solely to preserve its youth. These anecdotes woven into the pages of history, they offer a unique glimpse into the romantic relationships of some historical figures. Through these unique nuances, new and sometimes surprising aspects emerge. Personalities that have left an indelible mark on the world's history. Leave a like and subscribe to the channel to not miss the next historical curiosities.